You see that? Yeah, right there. That's an autonomous street sweeper. Yeah, it's a Yutong. Yeah, yes. Yutong. It's got the same computers and everything on it. Okay, so today I have come to a new district in Zhengzhou. They call it the Zhongdong Xinchu, or basically new uh, center east district of uh, Zhengzhou. And I've come for this. Check this thing out. This is the new 5G autonomous bus from Yutong. And this thing has won all kinds of awards recently. This right here is the future. So it looks like the vehicle can go like both ways and go forwards and backwards, right? But yeah, you know, this is the front here and this is the only wheels that actually turn. It's a good looking vehicle, man. Lots and lots of glass, lots of green space. You got these radars and cameras and lidars on each corner. I mean, there are sensors all over this thing. Now to get in, there's a couple of ways. It'll open automatically if it's on a regular route, but if it's a closed route or, you know, it's a private vehicle, it can open uh, via code, voice activation, or even facial recognition. It's pretty comfortable. We're gonna sit in here, we're gonna go for a little demo ride in the main streets of this district. Uh, it's not a heavily populated district. In fact, it's still developing. But we're going to go actually on the city streets. As you can see, this gentleman here, he's going to put in the destination on the iPad. And away we go. I love these, uh, this little table set up. And of course, this is all modular. You can switch it out and change the seating uh, all different kinds of ways. USB screens on both sides. Here and here. Showing progress, where you're at, what stop you're at, how fast you're going. And then here it's got a camera that shows, look at that. And then here is kind of like a radar... Uh, outline it shows all the moving people outside and the other vehicles in the area the roads everything we're going out on the city street now <laughs> fully autonomous no driver okay so we got a car in the blind spot it overtook it No issue there. Yeah, see it's slowing down, letting that car pass before it changes lanes. Another car changes lanes. Good. And it senses a red light ahead of us. It's gonna change lanes again without getting in a car accident with that guy. <laughs> and we got a green light to turn left. We should be turning left. Whoop, that guy just ran a red light. And so did he. They just ran red lights, those guys. And the bus stopped in front of it. Nicely done. Very smooth and very comfortable. Um, nice air conditioning. A huge greenhouse, and so you see everything around you just going by. Um, I feel quite at ease just sitting here like this, letting the computer drive us. I mean, I've driven L2 cars, you know, the lane keep assist and, you know, adaptive cruise control and automatic braking and everything. But this is, holy, oh, hey, it just turned yellow into red. So the brake was a little abrupt, but that's only because the light just turned from green to yellow, anticipating the red. So now we're stopped at a red light. We're stopped right on the limit line. I believe we're going to be turning left here. 
Yep. So it's left right up there. Now this will be interesting. We've got a car behind us and a car ahead of us just to the right. I'm curious if it will... Looks like the LiDAR will see it and it's slowing down. Very interesting scenario. I don't know if you can get this on camera, but these giant windows, I feel like we're on like a skateboard going through the city. I mean, it's not like these the windows on other buses where you have to like stare out of them, right? Like this, right? No, this is this is very big, very comfortable. You have to wear sunscreen in here. And you can see here, here are these smart bus stops that they've installed in this part of the city. Very futuristic looking. I'm really, really looking forward to these in all cities. I mean, just getting on the bus, you know, swiping your phone to pay, doo -doo, and you're in, right? But uh, they also have facial recognition. I mean, you can outfit this with TVs, television, watch a, watch a TV show as you go to work. You get Wi-Fi, you can work here at, the, at your desk. Yeah, well, the computer takes you to work. I can see something like this for a family. <laughs> you know, instead of a city bus, you know, this could be for, you know, a large family, you just, you know, going to the mall for dinner, How you know? Do you well, there's, this is a big one. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten seats in here. All seat belts. There's lots of space for luggage. This is not a small vehicle. This is good size. I mean, it's a big box on wheels because all the batteries are down below and the wheels are at the very far outside. You can have a lot of space inside for luggage, groceries, carrying people and things. I mean, that's what this is all about, right? Of course, the autonomous bus can go anywhere, but according to the current policies, it's only allowed to operate in this district. It's a pretty big district. I mean, we've been riding on this bus for a while now. All right, lots of people in this area. And it handled it beautifully. Wow, it took that turn with people walking in the street very nicely. No issues. There was a, a guy getting out of his car, it slowed down just a little bit. It recognized he was there, he was anticipating the moves. Doors open for this car, he's gonna slow down a little bit. Make sure he doesn't, yeah, he's asleep in that one. <laughs> just, <laughs> guy on the side of the road, someone pulling in front. Yeah, it does a great job. I feel very, very safe in this. I feel safer than I thought I was. I, I, I thought I'd be really nervous, but it's not so bad. They're limiting it to 35. 35 on the streets here, which is fast enough, really. Are regular passengers allowed to ride this? Like the public? It's free. It's free for the public. Wow. No, that's great. That's a wonderful thing. It's free for now, <laughs> but it might not be free forever. By the time this video is published, these will be in, pub in use for the public, for free, out on city streets here in Zhengzhou. Wow, very impressive. That's a good question. Do you think people are, are scared to take the 5G bus? They're very excited. The people are generally very excited about it. I am excited. I'm curious, but I'm excited about it too. They'll have a safety person in the bus monitoring it in case something wrong or bad happens. How many total people can ride this bus? Nine passengers. And one. So everyone has to stay seated with a seatbelt. Yeah, Nobody can be standing up. Okay. For now. For now. Safety. For safety. Okay. For now. That could change in the future. I mean, you've been on a bus in Shenzhen. People are just crowded in there, right? That's got to happen eventually, right? <laughs> Very exciting. It's coming. It's happening now. This is no longer the future. It's now. something else I've noticed is that in this district as we as we ride around all the people on the side all the cars everyone's got their phone out taking photos of this 
thing with no driver going by. It's still really exciting. See, look at these folks. These guys over here, they're catching up so that they can say hi to us and uh, take photos. They're just enamored by this 5G experience. And it drives it right up. No driver. And it's gonna spin us around here. All autonomous, this is all done without a driver. Fascinating. And we're done. What a great ride. Thank you so much. That was really, really neat. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>